So this gen set consists of a smooth running three cylinder fossil fuel engine, the generator back end that sends 240 volts AC to the drive motors and battery chargers, and a high output alternator which sends 12 volt DC directly to the batteries. Now for redundancy on Harmony, we have two generators. Catamarans typically only use one motor when power voyaging, although two might provide an extra knot of speed, they decrease overall fuel economy. So each of our generators only has to support one drive motor, so it can be smaller and use less fuel. For reliability, we built in a 20% safety margin. On Harmony, the drive motors are 10 horsepower, and we made sure that this generator could provide at least 12 horsepower. We also know from experience that passage making is a small portion of a vessel's life, and sailboats use motors even less. So the primary use of this whole gen set, this generator, is charging house batteries. The generator output at 240 AC goes to the chargers for both house battery banks and as we mentioned before each generator has a high output 12 volt DC alternator which charges the house batteries directly. We don't have to run this generator as often as we did with our prior system and that's also due to the larger capacity house battery banks which we'll be showing you. This is the control panel for the starboard generator. It has switches to start and stop the generator as well as gauges to monitor the performance of the generator. The 240 volt AC energy that comes from the generator is directed to this panel and in particular we're looking at the starboard drive motor. The starboard drive motor can run off of either the port generator or off the starboard generator. If we wanted it off the starboard generator we would switch there and then we would activate the motor by turning that switch on. With the generators on, power is being delivered to the drive motors and here at the helm we have dual controls which are connected to the variable frequency drives that we'll be looking at next. When we activated this drive motor, the power from the selected generator came to this variable frequency drive. It uses the 240 volt AC from the generator to turn the drive motor. As we vary frequency from 0 to 60 cycles, the motor RPM varies from 0 to 1200. These drive motors are built for continual use in severe industrial conditions like a chemical plant. This 10 horsepower motor is direct drive. There's no transmission to the shaft and prop. Since we deliver all the 240 volt AC from the generator and only vary the frequency, we have full torque at any RPM. That's one of the benefits of this kind of a system. We have great power and maneuverability at low RPM when docking. Back at the 240 AC distribution panel and just as we could choose which generator we wanted to power the starboard drive motor so also we can choose where we want to get the energy for the starboard battery charger. In this case we have three choices the port generator, the starboard generator or what is currently selected which is the shore power. Let's take a look at that battery charger. It's right behind this panel. So here's the battery charger which converts the 240 volt AC from the back end of the generator to 12 volt DC to charge the batteries. And while we're here, let's take a look at what else we've got in this compartment. This is the solar charging regulator. We have several fuses for um, all the services that we have on the boat. This is the control for the automatic fire extinguishing systems in both generator lockers and this is the house battery bank selector switch. For redundancy we have two house battery banks. 
This is the starboard battery bank. Each house battery bank contains six batteries giving 480 amp hours of storage. Both banks together total 960 amp hours of storage, more than twice our prior house battery capacity. This starboard battery bank is primarily maintained by a wind generator. The port battery bank is primarily maintained by solar panels. With these larger capacity house battery banks, we don't have to run the generator as often or as long. Each battery bank has an inverter located nearby for efficiency. The inverters use the 12 volt DC from the batteries and provide 120 volt AC for household usage. This is Harmony's 12 volt DC panel. It provides 12 volt DC services throughout the boat. The breakers are grouped by types of service. We have interior lights, electronics, blowers, pumps, and exterior lights. This panel provides the 120 volt AC throughout the boat. The starboard hull receives 120 volt AC from the starboard battery bank and the starboard inverter. The port hull receives its 120 AC from the port battery bank and the port inverter. We've decreased our fossil fuel consumption. Our generators are smaller and use less fuel. We don't have to run them as long or as often because our battery, household battery packs are larger and are able to absorb more green energy from the wind and the sun. We are happy to have made this contribution to the discussion of electric propulsion. Thank you.